I found 19 remote jobs that you can use to make money online that are AI related or use artificial intelligence in some way. So this is really good if you are excited about AI, you're excited about all the technology coming down the line and you wanna get into it and learn more about it and get paid to do so. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button or cheersing it, whichever one you prefer. And let's jump into it right now. So the first one on the list is going to be an AI content moderator because let's face it, without content moderation, the internet would be even weirder than it already is. And basically what you're going to be doing here is reviewing AI generated content online to ensure accuracy, safety, and compliance with community guidelines. Because even though AI systems do a pretty good job basically reviewing content online, they still might produce errors, biases, or let inappropriate content pass. And this position is essential in sectors like social media, online marketplaces, and content platforms. So in these jobs, you make a pretty decent salary. It's about 47 to 80 $2,000 a year, and it is relatively easy to get into these as well. So yeah, AI content moderation, not bad. Um, it can be a little bit of a weird job, especially if you're moderating certain types of content. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a junior digital innovator. And in this position, you would typically work on creating and innovating new digital solutions, experimenting with emerging technologies and contributing to innovative projects. And you'd often be working in a supporting role. And these professionals are frequently hired by tech startups, digital marketing agencies, software development firms, and companies across various different sectors that are focused on digital transformation and innovation. And you can almost think of them as digital architects that are constructing bridges between brands and cutting edge experiences. And digital innovators make really good money, about seventy-two dollars to $120,000 a year. So if you get into a junior digital innovator role, it is relatively easy to get into. Some are going to want college degrees, some of them don't care. Most of them are going to want some previous experience in something technology or digital marketing related. But yeah, this is a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI auditor. And basically what you're going to be doing here is assessing different systems for biases, errors, and compliance with regulations. And then you're going to be reviewing the AI output for accuracy, fairness, and just making sure that it's good for the industry it's being used in. And crucial industries for this type of position are going to be legal, finance, and journalism. Now, this is a brand new career. As you can probably imagine, it's not even on a lot of the big career sites. And that can actually be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But there's this article that I saw that came out, which I thought was really cool. It's uh, AI auditors, a rising career protecting the future in the era of artificial intelligence. Pretty interesting read for sure by uh, Data SciLife. And according to freelancermap.com, the salary of an AI auditor is about 95,000 per year on average in the US. And entry level positions can expect to be paid about 70,000 per year, whereas senior level positions will make upwards of 120,000. 20,000 a year. So yeah, very interesting position, uh, brand new, just like I said, I do think there's going to be a lot of demand for this in the next 10 years. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score right now. Very similar to this would be an AI ethicist. And this is where you basically analyze the ethical impact of AI technologies and propose guidelines for responsible AI deployment and regulation. And I think we all agree here that it would probably be best for us if AI didn't like take over the world and kill all of us or enslave all of us. And a lot of big thinkers out there like Elon Musk and other, you know, powerful and very intelligent people in the world have said that this is a very real threat. So as you can imagine, this position is pretty important. And hopefully we have a lot of good ones out there right now. Now, according to ZipRecruiter, uh, AI ethics jobs basically pay between 79 and $189,000 a year. So this is a bit of a higher level job, and you have to have a deeper understanding of AI. But one thing I've mentioned before on this channel, in fact, I did an entire video on it is there's lots of free or very affordable resources sources online for learning about AI. So for instance, Coursera has an entire series of courses on learning AI and deep learning and machine learning and basically everything related to AI. And there's this really smart guy named Andrew Ng that kind of came out with this series of courses. And Coursera is very affordable. You know, link it down in the description in the pinned comment below, just in case you want to see it. It's about $49 a month and you get a seven day free trial. So it's pretty good stuff. So yeah, AI ethicist, definitely a little bit harder to get into. You do need more experience, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight and a half out of 10 opportunity score as well. And honestly, AI auditor would probably be a great career to get into before you become an AI ethicist. Another one that's relatively easy to get into is going to be a data annotation specialist. And 
is basically where you track and label different types of data in order to help train AI algorithms. And this process basically involves adding metadata or tags to raw data such as images, text, or audio. And this provides context to the AI machine learning systems. And this can be incredibly helpful whether it's in healthcare, autonomous vehicles, or finance. Now, if you've ever prompted AI, especially when it deals with images or videos or sound, you know that there's very specific ways that you want to prompt AI in order to get the outcome that you want. It's actually best to almost talk to it like a caveman. There's uh, one person on my team, Brian, who's extremely good at prompting AI and coming up with really good images and uh, videos. And he basically just talks to it like a caveman and there's ways of learning how to do this. I'm starting to get better at it, but I'm definitely not as good as Brian. And data annotation specialists make about 50 to $85,000 a year. And this one is relatively easy to get into. You could definitely just take some of these free or very affordable resources online and then build a portfolio and you'd be able to get into this. So yeah, this one's really good. I'd say it's especially good if you're brand new, you don't have any work experience or a college degree. Uh, this one's great to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So one career that you can heavily utilize AI with in order to make it much better would be a social media strategist. This is basically where you would heavily utilize AI in order to be more efficient with social media strategies in a business. So you'd be crafting content and engagement plans using AI driven tools such as ChatGPT or Google Bart. And this would help to optimize your social media presence and track engagement remotely. I actually did an entire series of shorts on this channel where I basically asked AI questions and then I had it answer these questions and these were kind of on hot button issues. For instance, I asked it, is a gender studies degree useless? And that video did fairly well. And most of my AI related short videos did do pretty decently well. And social media strategists make about 56 to $89,000 a year. And we utilize AI quite a bit uh, on this very YouTube channel. Is it going to replace people? Not very many. Uh, is it going to be able to make your content creation process much more efficient? Absolutely. Is it going to help you to make better content? Absolutely. But it's definitely something that you should be heavily utilizing. So yeah, this is a pretty good one, um, especially good if you learn how to use AI. I would say, you know, if you're looking to get hired by somebody and they know that you are very familiar with how to use AI in order to create content, that is going to be very attractive to them. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a pretty obvious one, which is an AI developer. And this is where you're probably going to be focused on creating artificial intelligent applications. And this involves coding, testing, and collaborating with various teams to solve business challenges using AI. And AI developers make about ninety-four dollars to $138,000 a year. Additionally, you can be a normal software developer, but you utilize AI to be more efficient. So there's that as well. So not going to spend too much time on this one. I think it's fairly obvious. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a machine learning engineer. So this is a very big brain position to get into. You're definitely going to need some previous experience to get into this one. But 82% of companies need employees with machine learning skills right now. Absolutely ridiculous. So not only can you do this to make money as an employee, but you could also be a freelancer, start your own business, start your own agency, etc. And machine learning engineers make about $125 to $187,000 a year. So yeah, I think this one's fairly obvious as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, definitely very big brain. You know, you have to know your stuff. Does help going through a lot of those courses, but you're also just going to have to do a lot of self-study on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, go ahead and comment down below which careers you liked, which careers you didn't like, and which careers I should have talked about in this video. Next is going to be an AI solutions architect. So this is where you would be implementing various different AI related solutions to meet business needs. So these are already created solutions usually, or they've already been mostly created. And then you would basically just be auditing a business, like looking into the business's processes, their needs, their workflow, etc., and seeing where you can make things more efficient by using AI. And AI solution architects that work a full-time job make 132 to $196,000 a year. Now, the thing about this is you actually don't need to have a deep level of AI coding knowledge typically. In most cases, you just need to know the practical applications of AI. Now, not only can you get a job doing this, but you could also start an agency, a business, a freelancing service, a, you could become a contractor, etc. So there's many different ways to get hired and make money by doing something like this. So this is actually one of my favorite ones. I absolutely love this one. I've seen a bunch of people out there starting agencies that are related to this. And they basically are kind of just like a consultant. They go into a business, they audit it, they look at all their processes, and they figure out how they can implement AI to make them better. Now, this is something that I've done for my own business as well. And I find it extremely interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score because AI, is great, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like a lot of it isn't that practical or useful.
people in many cases. And having this person who actually, you know, is the middleman between this nebulous thing, which is AI and the real world and figuring out how you can actually make AI useful in businesses is very important. So I absolutely love this one. One of my favorites on the entire list for sure. A similar role to this that might be a little easier to get into would be a business intelligence assistant. And you're gonna be doing very similar things to the last one, but the difference here is you're actually going to be focusing on data, right? So you're gonna be dissecting data to unearth trends and patterns, and then you're gonna leverage these insights to guide strategic decisions. Now, obviously, if you implement AI into the database decision-making process, this can be even better. And in this position, you can still make a ton of money about 86 to 123 thousand dollars a year but it's probably a little bit easier to get into than the other one and then if you add ai on top of it you can make a ton of money with that as well so i do like this one i'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of ten opportunity score next is going to be a data visualization coordinator and this is somebody who's basically responsible for transforming vast amounts of data into something that is visually engaging and something that other people can understand so you're basically going to be customizing reports based on vast amounts of data that you collect and you're going to be doing it in such a way where it's very easy for people who are not necessarily very tech savvy to understand what it means. And this could be anything from creating dashboards to charts to graphs. And all of this is going to be designed to drive informed decision making. So yeah, this one is relatively easy to get into. You are going to have to be experienced with something like Tableau, R or Python, maybe even several of the above. And in this position, you'd be making about 71 to $115,000 a year. So yeah, a really good one. Um, great for transforming data into something that can actually be seen by normal people that don't have, you know, genius programming skills or genius data analyzation skills. Really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a predictive analytics specialist. And this is a very, very interesting role because you basically use historical data and trends, and then you apply statistical algorithms to them in order to make future based predictions. And these types of people are oftentimes employed in industries such as finance, healthcare, marketing, retail, and different types of technology technology companies. And this is for any business that wants to basically leverage data for forecasting and decision making. And as you can imagine, AI is incredibly useful here. And in this role, you'd make about 96 to $131,000 a year. So you would want to be familiar with things like uh, Python, R, SQL, etc. You don't necessarily have to have a college degree, you typically do have to have some previous experience and a little bit of a lower level job, but those jobs don't necessarily require a college degree or previous experience. So it's very realistic for anybody to get into this. So yeah, I really like this one also just extremely interesting in general i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a natural language processing specialist and nlp or natural language processing is basically where you develop algorithms and systems to enable computers to understand interpret and respond to human language in a useful way so remember when i was talking about how you prompt tools such as mid journey and you want to prompt it in a certain way so that it actually understands what you want well this is where that kind of thing comes in and it's actually extremely interesting and you're almost like a AI language whisperer, if you understand NLP. So you're sort of like a jack of all trades when it comes to mathematics, linguistics, data analysts, and a programmer on top of it. And NLP specialists make about 101 to $149,000 a year. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of different courses and stuff like that you can buy online. Coursera has some really good ones that get into this. So yeah, this one's very interesting, really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Something very similar to this is a conversational design designer. And this is somebody who helps to intricately craft the dialogues between AI and human beings. And they want to ensure that the conversations are natural, engaging and on brand and different types of companies related to tech, customer service, e commerce, and even gaming are actively seeking these professionals to enhance their AI related communications. And this is a role that uniquely combines creativity, psychology and technology. So another really interesting one, you make about 51 to $79,000 a year, you don't have to have as much tech technical background knowledge. This one is relatively easy to get into as well. So because it's so easy to get into, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI specialist. Now I think this one is pretty self explanatory. You're a specialist when it comes to AI, you are going to have some computer programming knowledge, but you're also going to just understand AI, basically all the things we already talked about today on a deeper level. So you're kind of like a jack of all these different things that we talked about today. So if you're really obsessed with AI, this could be a great one for you to get into you do make about 93 to 140 
$44,000 a year. Basically all AI related jobs are extremely high paying as you can see. And yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, would be great for an enthusiast. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score just because of the fact that you would have to have a vast amount of knowledge to be able to do this. By the way, if you haven't done already, go ahead, share this video with a friend who you think might benefit from it and then ask them to tell you what they think about it. Next is going to be an AI trainer. And this is basically somebody who goes into a specific type of business and they train their chat bot that they already typically set up in order to answer questions for that specific type of business. So they probably have frequently asked questions, for instance, 90% of the customers are probably asking the same five or 10 different questions. And so you can train the chat bot specifically for that business to be able to answer those questions. And if there's anything that the chat bot can't answer on top of that, then they would start talking with a live person. And it's very important to know when to have the chat bot answer and when to have a live person answer the question. And AI trainers make about 71 to $120,000 a year. And this is one of those positions where you don't need to have a super huge amount of technical knowledge, but you do have to understand how AI works and kind of how business works as well. So relatively easy one to get into. I really like this one. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And honestly, a lot of these, I, I even want to give them higher grades, but you know, in the context of this video, they're all really good. So I kind of have to give some of them higher and some of them lower. Next is going to be an AI analyst. And this one focuses specifically on data, making predictions and automating complex analytical tasks. So it's kind of like a data analyst mixed with an AI expert. And as you can imagine in this position, you'd make about 103 to $161,000 a year. So if you are a data analyst watching this, you could go take some courses on Coursera, learn about AI, make some portfolio projects, and land a job where you're making close to double what you're making right now. So yeah, this one's excellent for the right person in the right situation. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. So next is going to be script writing, but you're gonna be using AI for it. But yeah, YouTube script writing, there are tons of opportunities for AI to make this whole process much more efficient and to make your scripts better. And this is something where there's a ton of YouTubers out there that are making millions of dollars a year, but they spend a lot of time on researching and scripting their videos. And so if you can be a good YouTube script writer and you can can utilize AI in order to help them, that is going to be very valuable to them. And you know, you're probably going to get paid a good amount of money. So this is something that I see more and more people wanting to hire. This guy, for instance, makes 5,000 a month writing scripts for YouTube videos and script writers in general make about 58 to $101,000 a month. And I think YouTube script writing is going to be even better than that. So this is a pretty good one, especially if you're experienced in utilizing AI for it. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did a video on 10 of the easiest AI related sites hustles and it did really well. Lots of people loved it, got some great feedback and you can check that video out by clicking right here.